Yo guys, today is all about getting better at Rocket League and with the new Intel World Open Tournament just around the corner, the timing for this video couldn't be better. Now, we all want to be better and even my most recent Twitter post is about how I wish I was better at Rocket League, but thankfully Rocket League has a replay feature and with that feature, I studied 30 or so Supersonic Legend replays and after about 7 hours, I figured out 5 things that they are doing that we all should be doing too. Fair warning that these tips are catered more for the advanced player, but anyone can get some benefit from this. Oh, and I gave these tips to some diamond players, and after the tips are shown, those diamond players are going to try and beat some champs. Will they beat them? Well, we are going to find out, but before we get into all of that, I want to tell you about the Intel World Open and how to sign up. First of all, anyone is free to sign up, and you definitely should because the prize pool is a staggering $250,000. If you enjoy watching RLCS, now is the time to see what it's like to be a pro and try your skills in a standard 3v3 format and a double eliminate bracket. The signups are now through May 31st with the open qualifiers beginning June 1st and ending on June 13th. I think you guys would really enjoy partaking in this, so to sign up, follow these steps. First, you're going to want to click the link in the description and then select your regional qualifier. You'll most likely need to create an ESL account, but once you do, you'll be able to log in and register. Next, you'll have to enter your Rocket ID and make sure it matches your in-game ID so that you can be identified in your matches. Now, you'll create or join your team by clicking select team and either find your team or give your team a name to create it. If you have lazy friends and they made you create the team, click on the team page link. On the ESL play team page, you'll find a link that you can share to your teammates so they can easily sign up. Once everyone is on the team, you can now officially sign up by choosing the next qualifier for your region. Click on manage roster, select your players, and then hit sign up and you are good to go. I'm super excited about this and can't wait to see how it all unfolds. And as promised, it's time now for those five tips that will hopefully give you a slight advantage going into this event. The first tip is something that you may have never heard before. Starting out pretty advanced, something that SSLs do all the time is an air dribble into the wall. When Supersonic Legends jump to the air after a ball, they won't always have a shot opportunity, but what they do have is the potential to stay with the ball and get a pinch off of the wall. If your aerials are usually just a giveaway or you're not getting multiple touches, you need to start thinking about this. The great part about air dribbling into the wall is that the ball generally has a good chance to center for your teammates or sometimes you can set yourself up for another hit from the wall. Now training this is no different than your air dribble training, except you'll want to do this more in the middle of the field. Doesn't matter where you begin your air dribble, but if you're a little off and can't bring it towards the opponent's goal, you should think about taking it towards the walls. In this example, the player takes a normal aerial save on his side of the field, but takes it all the way to the wall and sends it to the other side of the field. This clear gives his teammates time to get boost and it relieves pressure from their side of the field temporarily. The second example is the perfect backup plan for when your aerial won't score on net and since he stayed on the ball, the blue team couldn't clear the ball and they nearly scored. And this final example shows how a normal possession turns into a high speed aerial attack where this player uses the wall extremely well to continue his possession into the opponent's corner. Quickly moving into tip number two, this one is honestly kind of mind blowing for me and the easiest one to implement into your gameplay. Supersonic Legends are incredibly good at controlling the ball and they are even better at controlling it on the wall. You'll notice in this clip that this player gets a pretty efficient play and a 50-50 could have resulted in a good goal opportunity for his teammates. But what he did to do this play is stunningly easy. He just waited for the ball to come to him and then simply let it hit the top of his car before doing anything. What this does is give the ball a soft pop from the wall which gives it enough height where you can then make a play out of it. I've noticed far too many lower rank players and myself included get a little too eager on the wall and try to time a flip or a jump but ultimately give possession away. You'll notice that in this clip that this player waits until it hits his car which gets the ball slightly off the wall and gives him a shot as well. And the most important place to do this might be in the corner and you'll see in this final example that this supersonic legend gets really great control without even doing anything but just letting the ball hit the top of his car. This one is simple to practice so make sure to try it. Another thing SSLs do that you should do as well is, wait, this isn't right. You guys are already doing this. Tip number three is kind of a more of an aggressive move, but I've noticed tons of Supersonic Legends doing it. At lower boost levels, SSLs will often flip off of the walls so that they can stay in the play and potentially catch their opponents off guard. This requires a fair amount of experience with pre-flipping and the benefit is that you maintain a ton of momentum. In this example, even though the player misses the ball, he had so much momentum that he was able to stick in the play even though he had no boost. The second example though is pretty nuts and he was just a tiny bit too low with his flip, but otherwise, 
might have had a shot or a pass. All in all, this tip is definitely more for the experienced player who is good at recoveries and knows situationally when it might be the right time to do this. For tip number four, we're back to aerial stuff, and this one is kind of a subtle thing that I caught on to. There's no question that Supersonic Legends are cracked at aerial plays and air dribbles, but why is that? Well, I noticed something that gives them an advantage when it comes to aerials. If you're around the Platinum to Diamond level, you're most likely hitting some good aerials, but you may be failing to get efficient aerials. If you take a look at this clip, you'll see this player uses the wheels of his car to get a soft aerial touch, which enables him to get another aerial touch and go into a flip reset. If he had just flew up and hit it in the very front of his car, he wouldn't be able to stay with the ball and would probably have hit a double tap. Even though a double tap is good, the problem is he may not have had enough boost or maybe was going too fast to actually get a high percentage double tap. In this clip, you'll notice this player does it as well and he gave himself an opportunity to 50-50 with the defenders, which is always a scary thing for the players on defense. If they things went a little better, he could have either scored or set his team up for a good pass. I want you guys to experiment with this a little and try and get the first touch of your aerials to be softer so that you can set yourself up for more efficient aerial plays. The final tip is definitely something you already know, but I want to reiterate it because it's so important. Supersonic Legends rarely hit the ball without power. Now, of course, there's times where they need to control the ball, especially more in twos and ones, but when it's time to hit it, they really hit it. So what this also means is that you should be willing to leave the ball alone if you're going to have to slow down a lot in order to hit it accurately into net. In this clip, this player is moving really fast, and although he may have had an opportunity to score, he would have needed to almost completely stop to do so. This is a waste of momentum, and with his teammate right behind him, he knew that his power wouldn't be enough, but his teammates definitely would be. Keep this in mind when you're in your games, and remember that powerful shots slightly off target are completely fine as you will have teammates who can score as well. So like I said before, I gave all of these tips to three diamond players and had them train for an hour, and now it's time to see how they do in a best of three against some champs. In the Intel World Open, you may play against some good players, so this will be a good test to see how they hold up. Oops, bad idea, bad idea. It's good they weren't expecting it. Yeah, they can, they can. I meant for a better touch than I got, but... Oh, oh absolutely. I oh, yeah, just hit that. Oh. that was kind of my bad. Good pass. <laughs> Definitely didn't miss or anything. No way. Got it. Easy shots. Nice. Let's go. Noah was definitely making sure he was hitting the ball with power there. You should go for back boost. Ah, uh, got a bad jump off the wall. Hitting your own jump off the wall. Yep. I got no. I'm well on the Oh, oh, oh shit. Yeah. Oh, that was good. Oh. We're good? Nice. Okay. <laughs> Calculate, man. <laughs> I was in a really bad spot and tried to get out of it. You guys should be clear low. Just take it slow. Yep. Uh oh. To it. That's my fault. Nope, I just whiffed that terribly. We're just not going to talk about that. I feel like being toxic. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're halfway through, and these diamonds are only one goal down. Let's see what they got. Ooh, backboard? Uh, no double tap on. Oh, not a boost. Turning it from nice. Got from. Oh, oh. oh. In. It's in. No, it's not. No, that is. Yeah. Even though they got scored on, Noah used tip number three and flipped from the wall and was actually pretty close to saving the ball. Ooh. Are you Aqua? Ah. We got him. We got him next game, guys. Yeah, yeah. Warm up, bro. Warm up, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The diamonds are starting to lose confidence as they lose this game, and honestly, this one just kind of got out of hand, and they lost six to one. But the best part is that they get another game to prove themselves, and if they can play like they did in the first half of the first game, they could win this. I got nothing here. I'm just kind of wandering around. I'm just kind of gonna sit. Oh it's god. Still, it's still zero. They're starving me. Yep. Hungry. Let's get it out. Get some boost. Round him. One. I'm going. Uh. Sorry, I, I kind of just went. No, it's okay. It's okay. I'll go for it. I didn't have enough boost either. You missed. Weak shot. Oh, you? Yeah. Oh, my bad. Oh, you touch. Well, the diamonds are staying strong and just like last game, they're looking good through the half and if they can score a goal here, they might get the win. Yep. They're taking a while. Yeah, I got it. I try to go for a double here? No, I don't know. Wow. Oh, you know what? Your shot? Okay. Let's nice. go! Okay, that, that took a long time to get a goal, but that's fine. <laughs> 
Oh, we're doing better than we did last time. Yeah, that's <laughs> better. It's not 1-6. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> this is uh, slightly harder than the last game. A little bit. They stepped it up. All right, Diamonds. If they can keep it up, we'll be on our way to game three. They flip. Solid. Backward. I got it. Got it. Nice. Oh, oh close. close. We're gonna make it soft top coast, uh, top corner. Yeah, it counts. Gonna kinda fake a little bit here. You got it over me. Oh, oh you really got it good. way over me. Oh, really solid. Okay. That was really good. That was a solid man. play. Oh man, here comes the choke for me in overtime. <laughs> yeah. My competitive last night has anything to say about it. No boost. Going I back. Bad touch. Fine. I have no boost. Trying to get boost. Pass. Oh. Off the corner. I'll, I'll go back. I'll go back. Off the corner again, I guess. <laughs> I'll try. Off the corner again, I guess. I'm rotating back. <laughs> Long boost. Oh. Faking. Oh. Oh no, I passed no. right to it. Over. No. I took it overtime. Our diamonds were so close to pushing that to game three, but honestly, diamond to champ may be one of the biggest jumps in skill, and for them to keep it that close is really good. I want you guys to go back and rewatch these tips and make sure to get yourself signed up for the Intel World Open. It's going to be a great event, and having the opportunity to play in it is something you shouldn't skip out on. Thanks for watching, and if any of these tips helped you, drop a like as payment, but otherwise, good luck. Later.